Today we're going to be making a handheld mirror to remind us we can be brave because God sees me. You will need markers, a pencil, a piece of foil, a glue stick, a pair of scissors, a piece of construction paper, um, and either a popsicle stick or a piece of cardboard that you can make into the shape of a popsicle stick. Um, you can also get uh, stickers or jewels or beads to decorate. Um, if you use jewels or beads, you probably want some Elmer's glue. Um, so pause the video and go find those items. All right, looks like you're ready to do craft time. All right, our first step is we are going to take our piece of construction paper and we are going to fold it hamburger style. So the big long way, or the fatter way, not the long way. So do that now. All right, did you get that done? Okay, our second step is we are going to draw two ovals. We're going to draw a big oval around about the same size as the half of the sheet of paper. And then we are going to draw a smaller one. We want to leave a gap so we have room to write and decorate. Okay, so pause the video and draw your ovals. All right, so next we are going to cut the big circle out. So I want you to cut around the outside of the big circle, or oval, it's an oval, not a circle, sorry. And so we're going to cut around it, so if you need to pause the video, pause the video now and cut the big circle and make sure you keep the two halves folded together. Because when we're done, we're going to want two pieces. So pause the video now. All right, so now we have our two pieces. We're gonna separate them, and then we are going to cut the circle out of the one that has the drawing of the circle. So we're gonna just kind of pinch in the middle. That's how you start to do it inside a circle, and just make a little cut in the middle. That way it opens it a little, so you can get your scissors in the middle to start your circle. So then cut out the middle circle and come back after you are done with that. All right, did you guys finish? Do you got a circle that looks like this and one that looks like this? All right, so we are gonna do the one that does not have the middle cut out of it first. So if you have a popsicle stick, I'm gonna have you either, if you have tape, it might be smart just to tape it across here instead of gluing it. Gluing probably won't stick it as good, so if we just tape it like this, maybe add another piece of tape down here so that it's you can hold up your mirror okay if you don't have a popsicle stick i want you to draw on your piece of cardboard a shape as a handle would be and then cut it out and glue it on or tape it on so pause the video and do that now all right our next step is we are going to put what is going to be our reflective mirror which is not going to really be a mirror because I don't have mirror material. But. So we're going to take this piece of foil and we're going to cut it so that it's going to, we want it to be seen behind this piece when it's over it. So we might have to cut a little bit off of our edges so it's not hanging out um, of our sorry I'm going to cut over here. Over we're going to put it like this, so we want it to look like that when we are done. 
So glue that on. You're going to glue the back, of, put glue on the back of this, and then glue it down. So pause the video and do that step now. Okay, did you guys get that done? Now I'm going to show you um, my finished product, but you're not going to be at that step yet, but just so that I don't have to make another whole one. So I want you to take your circle piece that looks like this one. Okay, and on the side that you don't have the coloring on, so use the side that doesn't have coloring on it, because, you know, we don't cut directly on the lines, right? No, we don't. So we want this side. Okay, I want you to write... Um, here we go. Sorry. I can be brave because God sees me. Genesis 16, 13. See how I wrote, I can be brave on the top and then because God sees me, Genesis 16, 13 on the bottom. Do that now. All right, and you can see that I decorated my mirror with some uh, star stickers. You could use stickers, you can draw your own, you could even decorate the back. I did not decorate the back of mine, but you could decorate the back of your mirror and bejewel it however you would like it. So decorate your front and back of your mirror now. All right, our last step is we're going to take our completed circle that we just decorated and we are going to glue it to the front of our mirror. So glue it onto your mirror and then you will have your mirror. Like I said, you won't be able to see yourself in it, but it will remind you that we can be brave because God sees us. After you finish your mirror, don't forget to come back and pray with me to end our lesson. Hagar and Ishmael's story shows us that even when life is not treating us the way we want it to be, that we can be brave because God sees us. God wants us to know that he is with us during those times, along with times when life is going good or even great. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for giving us the Bible to read and stories that help us know you better. We are excited that you see us and that we can trust you during all the days of our lives. Lord, help us to turn to you in good times and in bad times, for your word tells us that you want to have a relationship with us, and that means that we need to talk to you often. Lord, help us to truly trust in you and to use that trust to bravely live our lives in a way that you want us to. Lord, thank you for being a caring God who sees us and loves us. We love you too, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. I have enjoyed studying Hagar and Ishmael with you this week. I hope you have a fantastic week, and I will see you back here next week for another lesson from God's Word.